So let's talk about CSS. What the heck is it and how does it work? Well, my name is Dale from Creator Pro website and in this video I'm going to break it down for you with visual examples and make it super easy. So let's jump in. A modern day website is made up of three different files or codes and these files are HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. HTML defines the structure of a website and JavaScript defines the behavior of that website while CSS defines the overall appearance and style of that website. And CSS is short for Cascading Style Sheet. It helps determine things like colors, fonts, positioning of certain elements, and even a little bit of animation. And in case you don't believe me, let me show you an example. I'm gonna go over to my site, createaprowebsite.com, and I think it's a pretty good looking site. But I have a Chrome extension called Web Developer where I can disable the CSS from the page. And once I do that, you can see that it's not a very sexy looking site anymore. So CSS makes up a pretty important and aesthetic chunk of your website. Now, the first word of CSS is cascading. So what does that mean? Well, let's keep it simple and say that you have a website that's made up of three different sections. And in each of these sections is some heading text. Now let's say that you want to assign all of these texts with a class of heading 2, aka h2, and you want them to be open sans font. Well, you can write a bit of code that will change all of them at once throughout the entire website. This is why it's called cascading. And you can even assign multiple values, such as font size, color, weight, and more. And for the record, this is called a property, and this is called a value. And it's not just for text. Any visual element on your website, such as backgrounds, boxes, headers, footers, images, literally anything can be altered with CSS. So the next word is style, which makes perfect sense because it alters the style of your website. So let's move on to the third word, which is sheets. And by this, I mean style sheets, which is basically like writing a bunch of custom CSS settings for things like text, backgrounds, image properties, etc., and saving it as one file aka a sheet that you can apply to multiple web pages all with different content and layouts in order to achieve a cohesive style throughout your entire website. Now one more important part about CSS is selectors and selectors are what you use to identify certain elements on your website and you have class and you have ID. So what's the difference? Well to put it simply a class is used to identify multiple elements on your website so you can change the style of all of those elements at once. And this is indicated with a dot function. While an ID is given to one specific element on your website and is unique to that element and cannot be used elsewhere. This is indicated by a hashtag function and is used in order for you to change that one element specifically without affecting everything else. All right guys, so that was what is CSS and a little bit about how it works. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. I've got more videos like this on my channel as well as tutorials that teach you how to make a professional website from home with no experience necessary, not even coding. So feel free to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you on the next video.